Now at five tonight, a former Philadelphia police officer is facing murder charges. Mark Dial turned himself in today. He's accused of shooting and killing Eddie Irizarry as he sat in his car last month. It's Friday night. Shari is off. Sarah Bloomquist is joining us. And the big story in Action News is the latest developments in the controversial case that has sparked protests and calls for justice. Now, when announcing the charges, the district attorney's office also released unedited body camera video of the shooting, which is what Irizarry's family wanted. Action News reporter John Paul spoke with his aunt and is live now at police headquarters with more. John. You know, Sarah, Rick, this whole case really is going to center around that body cam video that was released to the public today. That's a key piece of evidence here. And the DA touched on that today. He also said he consulted with Eddie Irizarry's family before releasing it. He says they wanted it out there. So today I asked the family about that. And before we go any further here, I do need to warn our viewers that this body cam video is graphic. What happens over the next five seconds will be at the center of a court battle. This is the body cam video from Officer Mark Dial as he shot 27-year-old Eddie Irizarry to death on August 14th in Kensington. He was stopped after police saw him driving erratically. 413 shots fired, shots fired. Another angle from his partner shows the encounter as well. District Attorney Larry Krasner argues these videos support charges of murder and voluntary manslaughter against Officer Dial. They are crucial evidence in the case, and in many ways they speak for themselves. Officer Dial turned himself in today, and his attorney spoke to us, saying the video evidence shows the other officer yelled gun before the shots were fired. He then saw an individual pointing what he thought was a gun right in his face. Fearing that he was going to be the next police officer killed in the streets of Philadelphia, he fired. Uh, this decision today puts police officers in peril at a time when they're dealing with perhaps the most violent time in our city's history. Uh, we intend to right this wrong and bring him, this, this young man home. These videos were released after the family urged the DA to put them out in their entirety. I asked the family about that today. I want the world to see what this officer did to my nephew and the suffering that he has caused my family. Irizarry's aunt, Zareda Garcia, says it was not an easy decision. The graphic video was difficult to watch, but she says necessary. And today, seeing it again, it ripped me apart all over again. Now, in this case, the judge did set bail for the former officer at $500,000. We're told he posted that 10%, $50,000 earlier today. In the meantime, the district attorney and Irizarry's family is asking the public who sees this video to remain peaceful. Outside of police headquarters, John Paul, Channel 6 Action News. Sarah. John, thank you.